hey and welcome back to another video in this video we're going to be setting up the gauge cluster so that it works with the vehicle's rotation rpms so with that let's get started so before we get started i'm going to show why we added that extra step so what you're going to do is we're going to go to the cluster right click create material we're going to call the material m underscore gauge cluster then we're going to open the material and then we're gonna delete the shading model and legacy conversion. Then we're gonna right click, look for substrate UI, connect the output to the front image, connect the RGB to the color, and then the alpha to the opacity. And then click on the color output node, head over to the blend mode, change it from opaque to translucent gray transmittance, apply and save, close the material. And then open the material as you can see the material has changed it is now a transparent material so we're just going to open it again now it looks like a flat image the reason why we did the um, extra step is i have a line texture over here on an image that doesn't have a background square so if you select that hold t left click that will bring it in and then if we um, mix the two by dragging off from the rgb and then looking for a lerp connecting the rgb to the b and then connecting the output to the color as you can see the image texture has now taken up a large portion of the real estate on the cluster even though i did set it up to be half as big as the cluster image it still takes up whole the whole image so this is why we restrained it by adding that extra rectangle so that we don't have to do all this just for comparison, if we bring in the needle, select it, head over to the texture, hold T, left click. So if we connect the needle to here, as you can see, the needle is where we created it to be, right in the center, perfectly lined up with everything. So that's why the extra step is there to make life easier. So now we're gonna set up the material. So then we are going to take the RGBA from the needle, connect that to the LERP alpha, and then leave it as such and then from the alpha by the cluster i'm going to drag off and look for an add then connect the alpha from the needle to the b and then connect the output now i'm going to drag off from the output and then look for a clamp first minimum is zero maximum is one and then connect that to the opacity and then now we have the gauge cluster and then what we're going to do now is set it up so that the needle can rotate so by the needle texture by the uvs drag off and then look for a custom rotator by the custom rotator which says uvs drag off and look for a texture coordinate and then we are going to hold two and left click to add a two vector connect the top pin to the rotation center set the x 2.5 the y 2.5 as well to get the center of the image and then we are going to right below the two vector right click and then look for a lerp connect the output from the lerp to the rotation angle and then by the alpha hover over the pin right click and then set to promote to parameter we're going to name this parameter rpm range and then this will be the um, value that we'll be using the parameter that will be exposed that we're going to use to essentially animate the needle to match the vehicle's rpm and then to do that also we need to um, restrict the angle of rotation because if you change the value as it is now it's going to rotate to the right because that is the positive direction so zero is at the bottom and then one if it's a positive one it will rotate the right from the right all the way around if it's a negative then it will rotate on the other way but it's not just enough set it as negative one because it will go from the bottom and then rotate around we need to restrict it at 10 that's also the other reason why I made it the way it is at 270 because then the angle will be negative 0.75. So as you can see now it has altered with the same value it's now rotating to the left hand side. So if we set the value by the RPM range to 1 it will go only until the 10. So if you want to go beyond that then it will obviously go higher than 1. But that is essentially what you want, 0 being at the bottom and then 1 being at 10. So with that done, we are good to go. That's everything we need for the material. We're going to set the default value back to 0. Press apply, save. 
we can now close the material and then on the material we are going to create a material instance of it so on the material select it right click and then create material instance and then we will name it the same but we're going to call it mi gauge cluster instead of m so that we know it's the material instance and then open the material instance and then under global scalar parameter values the rpm range needs to be selected so that we have access to it it's exposed save close and then we're going to head over to the vehicle ui and then now in the vehicle ui we are going to take the boost text block and then just set this in the center for now we will do something at some other point with that but for the gauge cluster we are going to look and add an image so add the image to the overlay select the image align it to the right and bottom add a padding of 32 to it by the brush we are going to look for the gauge cluster the material not the material instance and then we are going to set the image size to 400 by 400 we're going to compile and save and then we're going to rename the image name to g cluster underscore image so that it's easier to find compile and save head over to the graph and then before we do anything we are going to right click and then look for an event construct and then by the event construct just below that we're going to right click and then say get player porn drag off from the return value say cost to sports car porn the main vehicle connect the execution pins and then add by the add sports car porn drag off promote to variable and then that's it we need to gain access to the sports car so that we can get the rpms and then another thing that we need is at the bottom we're going to right click and then look for an event tick and then this is what we'll be adding the code itself but before that we need to create a new function so we're going to create a new function we're going to call this gauge cluster and then in here we are going to add the code for the gauge cluster um, click on the node we're going to set it we're going to add an input the input of type float and this will be the vehicle's rpm this will be the value that we get from the sports car so from the execution pin drag off and then say is valid the question mark is valid and then we are going to drag off from the is not valid and then look for create dynamic material instance the one we'll be looking for is the cluster the material instance gauge cluster and then from the return value drag off and then say promote to variable we're gonna call this mi cluster and then that variable that we just created drag it in and then drop it on the is valid input object and then we need to drag in the g cluster image to so drag that in get it and then drag off from the g cluster image and then look for set brush from material the material in question will be the mi cluster the set drag off from there set that to the material connect the execution pin and then lastly we are going to drag in the mi cluster drag it in get and then drag off from there and then say set scalar parameter value connect the execution pin and then also from the is valid by the is valid question mark we're going to drag that also to the execution pin so that either way whether it's not valid or is valid it will set the scalar value this is just so on the first um, when the material is first created it will then create the next material and then from there we will just be running the is valid continuously and then the parameter name will be the rpm range and then the value will come from the rpm the vehicle's rpm set that and then compile and save and then that will be everything and now we're going to head over to the event graph at the event graph we're going to drag in the s sports car porn variable hold control drag it in from the variable drag off and then look for get chaos wheeled vehicle movement component from the chaos wheeled vehicle component drag off and say get engine rotation speed and then from the return value drag off and say map range clamped the map range clamp will be in value will be the idle speed the sports car idle set 900 and then we will set it to 10,000 similar to the cluster material and then the outrange value this one will be subject to where the vehicle idles 
So there will, these numbers over here are all subject to change depending on how yours is set up. For the sports car, this will be a value of 0 0.07 to match 900. And then we're gonna set it to one or rather 0.75 so that it changes at the appropriate RPM. This will change as well as just the value for now. If it, it doesn't match, then you will come and change these values over here. And then we're gonna drag in the gauge cluster function, connect the return value from the map range claim to the RPM, and then connect the execution pin. And then that should be everything. We're gonna compile, save, and then head over to the level to see if it works. Save all, and then play the level. So as you can see, it works, but it doesn't change at the appropriate place. So what you're going to do is you're going to head out, head back to the vehicle UI, head to the map bridge clamped, the outrange B value, we're going to change this to one. Then we're going to compile save and then see if that works. So it's still not changing at the right place. Instead it's changing at 6,000 instead of 7,000. So this is what I meant when I say it's gonna be subject to tweaking. So if the map range is fine, then what you wanna do is head over to the material, not the material instance, and then play with the value over at the lerp that's connected to the RPM range. So for mine, I'm gonna change this to negative one instead. Apply, save, head over to the vehicle UI, change the out range, let's put it at 0.85. Okay, so there we go. Now it's changing where it's supposed to at 7,000 RPMs and the idle speed is setting at 900. So as I said, the values are subject to change the values by the out range are subject to change as well as the values by the lerp you will just have to play around with this to get it to match up properly with the vehicle but that is everything for this video everything works and until the next video